Hello everybody, the America here with another video for you. Today I am going to show you how to do a bulk storage unit. So in this storage unit we're going to have just a whole bunch of chests stacked up and this can actually go as high as you want and then we're also going to add indicator lights to show how many of the chests have items in them. So it only takes one item to turn on the lamp and then if it's full then it will blow up into the hopper and then up into the next chest. So the nice part about this system is that it's able to be incorporated into any storage system. So it doesn't have to all be bulk storage. You can also just drop it down and run it into normal storage chests where it's just a couple of them stacked on top of one another and you don't have to worry about having so many chests if it's something that you aren't going to have a lot of in supplies. And then you can just run it anyway, so you can either do a hopper line, water line that drops into them, uh, different things like that. So as you can see, the redstone itself for the system isn't very complicated. It's mostly just comparators, hoppers, and chests. And compared to a regular sorting system, the only thing that's really added on are the comparators to indicate, to light up the indicator lights. So if I drop in a bunch of sandstone, which will flow into this first bulk storage, I'll just fill this up and then you'll see it's actually flowing down into here and it just flows through these chests and it will slowly come down to this one. And then if we fill up this chest, just assuming that it filled up all the way, this hopper here will start to fill up. And let's get this one most of the way full. And now that this hopper is almost full, and right there we see that it filled up, so now they're starting to pile up in this third chest. So that means that we basically have two full chests and then we have some in a third chest in our storage system. So this is also a pretty easy build. All you need is a three by seven area. And you're just gonna place a chest down here. It doesn't matter if it's trapped or a regular chest. And then you're gonna run a hopper into the side there and then a hopper into that. On top of that, you're just gonna have a chest that goes over like this, a hopper that runs into that side, and you're just gonna stack up these chests and keep doing the hopper into the side of the chest. Now that we have five layers of chests, what we can do is face one hopper straight down into the system, and then just place a block over on the side here, and you're gonna place a comparator over there, and then you want to run a hopper into the side of that. So then this isn't actually gonna run into anything, so it won't automatically dispense down into here. So then this comparator will be hooked up to the system to lock this comparator so that it won't take any items, and then you can also filter whatever items you want in this bulk storage system. So from there, we can just add our tower of lights and you want them to be even with the top chest in your array and then just surround that with whatever decorative block you're using and then here you can use a staircase and then put an item frame on it and then that will tell you what you're storing in that system and then what you want to do is on top of this chest right here you're going to place a half slab like that and then you're going to place a block underneath this one and this chest and then also one under the chest on this side. So you should kind of have a, a zigzag pattern going up your system. And then from that we just want to place a bunch of comparators facing towards the wall. So this, whenever there is an item in any of these 
chess, they will power one of the individual lamps. And then lastly, what we want to do is we want to run a comparator out of this with a repeater after that. And then just redstone dust into this bottom. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier was you want a 3 by one lowered section right here in the middle and one away from the front so that you can actually run this redstone down and power this bottom lamp without powering any of the other ones. And then from there, you just want to connect it to the rest of your line. So we'll run this over here. So after you connect up the top, what we want to do is we want to run back to and then stair step down one and then one the other way and then put a block like that. And you want to place a redstone torch under the comparator on this inside wall, a redstone repeater running into that, and then just three redstone across the top here. And that will set this hopper to be shut off so it won't accept anything. And then we just want to add whatever item we want to filter into this one. And it will tick down until it reaches 41. And then the rest will be in this bottom chest here. And that is how you build a bulk storage system. I hope this gives you some ideas for your own base and I hope you enjoyed the video.